Hello everyone, my name's Phil Earl and I'm here in lovely windy air on the Scottish friendly children's book tour and I want to give you very quickly my top five tips for writing cracking dialogue. Okay, tip number one. Uh, don't wear headphones on the bus. It might sound like a ridiculous thing, but the best way for me in terms of learning how to write good dialogue is listening a good dialogue. And what I mean by good dialogue is often everyday dialogue. It's listening while you're sat on the bus, while you're walking past the school gates, especially if you're writing YA. It's just to try and tap into the way that people speak. You can pick up so much of how to write great, realistic dialogue just by eavesdropping. Okay, tip number two for writing cracking dialogue is watch a load of telly. Uh, don't bother wasting your time with neighbours and EastEnders and all that guff. You're not going to pick up how to write great dialogue from that. But great television, if you look at some of the stuff that's coming out of America now, all they've got to tell you a story is that is the medium of dialogue. An hour-long episode, you can pick up so much just from watching these terrific scripted programmes. Things like The Wire, things like Breaking Bad, things like Game of Thrones. These are writers at the top of the game, capturing how people speak. Also, watch as many films as you can. Go to the theatre. Surround yourself with great TV, great radio plays, great films, great theatre shows. Okay, tip number three. Don't be afraid to act it out. It might sound stupid, but when you're a writer, you spend an awful lot of time on your own and often you find yourself talking to yourself anyway. So for goodness sake, when you're writing dialogue, allow yourself to repeat it out loud. Allow yourself to become those characters and to hear how the dialogue sounds. If you want to make sure whether the dialogue you've written is authentic, whether it has the right rhythms, whether it feels true to life, sometimes the greatest way of capturing that is by reading it out aloud. So don't be shy. No one can hear you. Read out your dialogue out loud. See if it rings true. A tip number four is a really simple one, but it's don't try and be down with the kids when you're writing dialogue. I've always felt if you go out there trying to replicate how kids speak every day, especially in terms of slang, or in terms of regional accents, you're going to fall, you're going to, you're going to fall croppy, you're going to get it badly, badly wrong. And also it might sound too forced, like you're trying to be their friends, like you're trying to capture their lives. And what you'd also find actually in two to three years time as slang changes and people and the way they speak moves on, that it really doesn't feel authentic. There's nothing worse than writing a book and three years later that it feels like it's completely and utterly out of date. So don't be afraid um, to stick to your guns and to write in a way that maybe doesn't completely feel genuine at that time think about the long game try and write a uh, dialogue that will endure in five years ten years fifteen years or twenty tip number five the final tip for me is quite a simple one is um don't be afraid to overuse dialogue the great thing about writing is that the first thing that you commit to the page doesn't have to be the thing that ends up in the final book that's what second third fourth fifth sixth drafts are for what i would say is editors good editors will often tell you uh sure don't tell and i think that's really good advice and there's no better way of showing something happening than by using dialogue allow your characters to tell the story for you it can be such an effective way of storytelling Okay, so those are my top five tips for writing cracking dialogue. But the thing to remember is the things that work for me won't necessarily work for you. That's the beauty of writing. It's impossible to encapsulate one way of writing that works for every single writer. So experiment, try things, and don't be afraid to really tackle dialogue because it can be an incredibly powerful way of telling a story. Good luck.